I'm here at Wainoi Water Treatment Plant, where Wellington Water has engaged us to help optimize their CO2 dosing. This will increase the efficiency and effectiveness of the system. This will save the material cost and avoid any future supply issue. So the addition of CO2 and the lime increase the alkalinity uh, and decrease the amount of free carbon dioxide in the water, which therefore um, increase and buffer um, the pH. Uh, so in context of water distribution, um, alkalinity is related to aggressiveness of the water. Uh, low alkalinity water tend to um, be more aggressive, which means it could be more corrosive in, uh, to your pipe um, and, and to other materials, uh, leads to a damage or contamination. So Lutra are doing this by performing sampling and testing on the raw water and then the treated water. So to work out the optimal dosage, we have to do this in different weather conditions uh, to make sure the dose rate uh, can handle variable water quality. Now we're just setting up the pH probe. and I'll take uh, 100 ml of the raw water sample into the speaker. This is a magnetic flay uh, which will help um, with the steering. Now we're going to insert the pH probe into the sample and so what's the initial pH look like? And it takes a bit of long time for the pH probe to stabilize. So once the stabilizing sign changed to ready, uh, I can uh, go ahead and do my titration. So the pH meter is stabilized. We're just gonna record what it says on the meter. So now we can start our hydration. Um, titration by adding um, our hydrochloric acid into the raw water sample. First, I need to zero the um, burette by squeezing the bottle. Once it reaches to zero, we can start adding the hydrochloric acid into the raw water. Also, monitoring the pH change while you're adding the acid, making sure the pH. Um, we'll get to the target value of 4.5. So once the pH um, reached to 4.5, uh, we'll record uh, how much hydrochloric acid we used. And it says 21 ml. which also means the current alkalinity of the raw water is 21 uh, milligram per liter as calcium car carbonate. So far, the project has gone really well, and we have reduced the CO2 at Timarua water treatment plant by 30%. It also looks like we will be able to reduce the dosage here at Wainoi treatment plant by around 40% too.